bugs in this. Oh, actually, yeah, he'd have to yell at everyone in the game, but he, we would see it if, that is if true. something bad happened. So Artivin is adminning and uh, refereeing oh, and making switch sure colors again. everything looks good. Of course. Good. Well, yeah. Oh, I told him to. Yep, that's that's power <laughs> going over the light blue. Thank you, Joshy. Appreciate it. There we are. Ah, we kept the overlay, too, so that's double bonus. Indeed. Here we go. Let's get things started. So down here at the bottom left-hand corner, we have Dignitas Select spawning as our blue Terran player. His teammate from Supsons is FXO Optic Zero playing from South Korea. He is our pink Protoss player. Their opponents in the top right-hand corner from PowerTech. Our hack pro tech, he is our orange zerg player. We also have power. Power is our now light blue Terran player. Just because he wants to mess me up and uh, make his color as close as is physically possible to Dignitas Selects. <laughs> so later on in the game, when we just have a bunch of Marines standing around, we will have no idea who they belong to. <laughs> uh, pro tech, what uh, what did he do last game? He had a lot of corruptors and broodlords and not a whole lot else. Well, he had a lot of speedlings. Yeah, didn't there, see there any infestors that game. Yeah, and there was a lot of early expansions as well, but not a ton of uh, pressure right in the very beginning of the game, which allowed Select and Optic Zero to play that really, really macro style that they enjoy playing, which is exactly what they're going to go for here. Once again, we even see Optic Zero setting up uh, Select on that gas. So a similar strategy to what we've already seen. Here we have Select walling himself in. Same thing for Optic Zero. And we may just see a Forge expand out of him into Mass Stargate. This is the game just a moment, not too long ago, I'll say not just a moment ago either, but Protech and Power did do a very quick pool and proxy barracks setup on this map. They even got the same positions as we saw in that game, but they are not going to be so bold this time against Select and Optic Zero. Uh, Protech not building anything actually right this second. He's going to go ahead and drop his hatch at 14 there inside that giant base of his. A 14 hatch. Oh, let's see here. He's putting up a couple of... Zoi or I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Zoidbergs? <laughs> no, I was going to say, I trust me, just early morning, a lot of casting, just bear with it. But no, I was going to say Zoidlings, Zoidlings <laughs> at first, and I was like, no, those are drones, I'm an idiot, but no, it's okay. Zoidlings. Zoidlings. I'm helping! Power is going to go ahead. Get a good scout on these bases here. Select, uh, of course, mining his gas off of Optic Zero's assimilator, and he's going to put up his very early factory. Not proxying a starport yet this time around, and he is revealing that factory to the wall. <laughs> I'm helping. Hooray! Uh, um, anyway, the spawning pool coming down now. It's about halfway done. Everyone's just setting up to play a really long game. Um, no mass gateways, no mass barracks from either player. Actually, Power does have two barracks in construction now. Is that going to put him up to three or just two? Yeah, just two. Just and two. And he's taking his expansion as well. But Oh, wow. Did he actually... No refinery yet. I think he nexus before he barracks, so yes, indeed. No no gas makes me wonder if he's going to go seven racks or something. He could very well. And actually, you know, that could play... Oh! Cannons. Cannons, indeed. And the probe is safe, safely tucked in between. And the yep. We Whoa. Do have, oh, oh why? God, bro! Why? why would you ever do that? Why? But that's okay. That's all right. Nope. It's all right. Cool. He just wants more photon cannons. He wants no. to look like the boss. It's all, all right. right. Okay. Yes. All right. Here we go. Three spine crawlers <laughs> coming up, but the first photon cannons ah. are already finishing, and Pro Deck runs away. Nice cancel by Optic Zero as well. Just enough to deny this hatchery and any mining there for quite a significant period of time. More drones coming up here over at Protex Main. Beautiful, beautiful job canceling that hatchery. That's gonna be a dead hatchery. It is. Yeah. It is in the process of dying. And and Optic Zero canceled a ton of cannons. Yep. So he's just happy with what he's got. Optic Zero expanding himself inside of his giant base. He's got another gateway coming up. And it uh, looks like the starport already finished for Select as he's getting that first Banshee again. Yes, he is, as a matter of fact. Doesn't have enough gas to go straight into Cloak this time around as he did put the Tech Lab down on his factory. And what is this? Power already has an engineering bay ready to go. Yeah, I'm surprised Protect doesn't have an evolution chamber ready to go since these guys have been on top of that very, very well this entire tournament. But a hatchery being dropped outside of the main this time. That's also a little, um, I don't know how I feel about it. You might even want to just hide it somewhere instead of building it right in front of your main like that. And let's see here, we do have a second command center coming up for Select as well, so he's expanding out of this. It's not going to worry about Cloak, though. Do we have any missile turrets coming up? No. Engineering Bay not being used for any sort of 
Uh, Anti-air play, just going to be used for upgrades here in a bit, it appears. Well, at least he's building marines, and that obviously will help against that Banshee that doesn't have cloak and is not even researching cloak yet. Turrets, of course, would help as well, but not 100% necessary. Destructible debris actually being taken out by power himself. Just opening up another avenue for defense, just in case of any super harassment from this Banshee. A couple of turrets are going up now for power, and that factory will be done soon. Looks like a lair is about halfway done now for Protect, so he's gearing up for something a little more involved. Perhaps an Infestors this time. He did so well with his Infestors previously, that I was surprised not to see very many, if any, in the last game. Yeah, absolutely. And it looks like now Select is going to be able to pick off a couple of the Marines here from the high ground. Has already got seven kills on that Banshee being Os. I mean, we see Select has just impeccable control. I mean, it's what he's known for. You can do multi-prong harassment in 1v1 and things like that. Um, and right there, just getting himself a couple of extra free kills. Beautiful job there. Eight kills off of that Banshee. Not reinforcing with any other ones. He has, in fact, already taken his Starport off of the Tech Lab after his first Banshee. He's going to get back in there and try and do yet more damage, though. Taking out a couple of mules just before they actually finish uh, their life. And he's going to grab a couple more things. Already into double-digit kills. Eleven on that Banshee. Very nice job select. Sergeant Benshi reporting for duty, but uh, we have a Spire coming up now for Protex. So soon he's going to be able to get some Mutas and or Corruptors. He's got Spore Crawlers coming up now, so he'll be protected against the Banshee force as well. Power is getting a Starport up. Vikings most likely going to be popping out of that just to start, then switching into Medivacs. And Select adding on three more Barracks right now, so he's going heavy into most likely Tank Marine. Absolutely, and look at this Overseer over here as well. Uh, worried about any sort of cloak play, but that's not going to happen. Banshee now with 15 kills. It is a captain. Captain Banshee, 20 HP. Just go home. You're retired. Just <laughs> get, get repaired up. Maybe they'll send you back out in the field later on, but you should enjoy a life of luxury from this point on. And those three barracks and factory are going to be done here soon. Select is going to go into total production mode. I'm surprised he's not even taking a third base. He's got a 1,000 minerals basically banked up. Um, and, ooh, Optic Zero again with those Phoenixes. Again, the Banshee, Phoenix, Void Ray sort of uh, combination between these guys has been very successful. Don't fix it if it oh. isn't broken. And they are just outside of the range of that Spore Crawler as well. Beautiful Queen goes down, suffers no losses. I don't even think, oh, it suffered four points of permanent damage. Banshee coming home to get a nice repair. Two HP left now. kills. Yeah, but it has 16 <laughs> kills. It's awesome. So what do we have here? Zergling's taking map control at the moment, uh, but Protech and Power, they have a lot to do to catch up in this game. They're down in supply, they're down in, let's see if they're down in workers. Now I guess both teams are about even at this point, so no real problem there. And look at this, Optic Zero just going to pick off overloads across the map, oh so annoying as a Zerg player. Man, it must be hard to pilot those Phoenixes when they all just like bounce off each other constantly. <laughs> boing, boing. I'd be scared that I was going to fall out of the air, but... Uh, oh, this Banshee. Oh, they're teammates, so it's okay. Uh, <laughs> they're, they're, they're coexisting peacefully. Um, Roach Warren coming up for Protect. That's kind of interesting. Five Corruptors, certainly going to help against those Phoenixes and Banshees that keep invading their home. But uh, Protect and Power have to be feeling pretty bad in this uh, series just because normally they're the aggressors and they cannot even leave their base. They can't get enough units up because they're spending so much money on support crawlers and overseers and turrets and. All that sort of thing. They just are not building enough fighting units, and it'll be a while before oh, they can no. actually break out of here. This Hero Banshee. Banshee! 18 kills now. Easily going to be spat upon. No, it actually escapes again with 14 HP. All right. So let's take stock of where we're at now. It looks like Power is going to finish up taking out those rocks. Had uh, ignored that for quite a while. We do have the Void Ray Wall starting, and Select already has his Marine Tank Medivac Force up. So... This is going to be very powerful. This is apparently where Banshees go to retire because that is going to be completely out of vision. No unit will ever see that ever. Um, so Select going to make his way up now with this combined Air Force from Optic Zero. Optic Zero is adding gateways like mad once again. This is going to put him up to six, so we'll be able to convert very easily over to a pretty heavy gateway backbone. And now this exposed base that you were talking about before, well defended against air units, not defended against the tanks. Yeah, and... I mean, this uh, this is his second base. I mean, the hatch, there's a hatchery going up now in the tackle again, but really he's had so much stalled mining time just because of that cannon rush. I think Zero set this up beautifully since uh, we knew he was going to be getting into Phoenixes and Voiders eventually. That cannon rush, the first time we've seen it in this league, or in our cast at least. So I'm glad that he switched it up a little bit, and it was a perfect option to try and buy himself some time. Now we do see a lot of Vikings and Corruptors, but the Siege Tanks and Marines 
gonna do pretty well. <sighs> yeah, absolutely. There's what, 13 Marines and three Marauders in that little group and a siege tank. So Optic Hero just running in with his units. He's got his Void Rays buffering some damage as Run, well. Void yeah, needs to actually back those up, but that's okay. Um, Select will start slow pushing his units forward as well. Uh, there's just this one siege tank over here to the left that's quickly dealt with, and Select just sieging himself up. There's not much that Power and Protect can do about this combined force. They are putting up as many roaches and marauders as possible. But all these units are going to get picked off for power and protect. It looks like well, they just have a huge air force left. That's it. It's just anti-air, unfortunately. There's no mutilists, there's no banshees. Uh, nothing to actually be able to combat this huge stalker force now that is in their base. There are a few roaches now scurrying about. SCV is getting picked off very easily. All they have to do is focus down the roaches. Vikings are landing, but stalkers oh. stand up to, to land it like pretty darn good, especially with siege tank fire coming from the low ground. Yep, absolutely. So the rest of these Vikings are going to fall. That is a bad position now uh, for them to be in. So Optic Zero and Select are going to move in, start denying the production of power. Power did get away with a couple of those units, but that is going to be very difficult to come back against. There's the GG! And the most prolific 2v2 team in the entire world has been knocked out of the tournament. They're the ones with the thousands and thousands of wins, but they're not playing Select and Optic Zero every every game either. So Select and Optic Zero, obviously very pretty well, I mean, established 1v1 players. I believe Select has something like an 80% win rate right now on North American mm -hmm. 1v1 ladder, uh, showing that they can hang in 2v2 as well. So uh, thanks very much to all the people watching the stream right now. We're going to, I guess, um, move into, I think we have one more series to cast Yes, today. we do. I think this is going to be the winner's bracket finals is going to be the uh, final match of the day. So hope you guys have enjoyed everything that we've done. It's been an absolute pleasure to cast for you guys. Uh, don't forget out. Uh, don't forget we have a couple of shout outs to give to everyone complexity steak or style life for organizing the tournament for us do find